everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, super, super hot here, so I wanted to do a large pour and a 20 inch round and take it out in my doggy pool, but it's like, what's the temperature? It's 89 now and going up to like 98 or something. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do show and tell real quick, so if you're not interested in that, please use the timestamps in the description box below to get where you want to go. Um, but I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about substrates. So, results from the last video. First off, good call all of you who said, save this painting. Hi, Chloe. Hello, Mama. You wanna come say hi? Yes. <laughs> so, first time on camera, that's my daughter, Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Hi, Mom. <laughs> all right, go eat your lunch. Hello, people. Mm. All right, go eat your lunch. <laughs> so, uh, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, this turned out great. I went ahead and resined it. And I gotta say, it's now quite glorious. So good call, y'all. It's gonna go in a floater frame, a maple floater frame like this one. I just brought this as a sample of floater frames. Like this, it'll go in there. I'll figure out the orientation later. But yeah, thank you all for uh, making me keep that one. And then the dry results from the last video. Is this one, I adore this one. Um, my woodpecker, my bird, my seahorse, my baby elephant, my snail, and a couple other animals that you guys suggested that I forgot. It dried fantastic. I don't know if I can get all the shimmer, but this is all the um, pigments and they're all quite, quite glossy and shimmery. I love my edges on this one, so I'm not so sure I should frame it. Uh, I'll decide later after it gets resined. So there's that one. And then the other one we did, and I just threw it in a floater frame just so you can get an idea what it like. I like this one very much too. The colors are very soft and subtle, but they all showed up when it dried and it looks, it's gonna look really great resined and put into this floater frame. I like the, the drama of the black too. So yeah, it's just hanging out in there. And then, from two videos ago, we did the um, triptych on the cradle rounds, the MDF rounds. And my damn thing is sliding down again. Stay. Uh, these guys. So there's, that's Mama Bear. She lived, I kept her. Here's Baby Bear. Kept it adorable, right? And I gotta say, these are hanging out by the um, my front door, and when the light hits it, the this purple color, it almost, it just glows like it's silver. So with the aqua, they're just really stunning. I am going to sell those as a triptych. I'm not going to uh, separate them. And then, here is Papa Bear. It, they all dried great, um, thanks to the GAC in my house paint. Uh, this one did bow. It's almost gone though, so it bowed right after maybe about 24 hours later, and luckily there was it was dry enough to have a skin, so it didn't move the paint, but it did bow in the middle, and now as it's been curing over the last week or two, that bow is uh, sorting itself out. I'll probably next week throw a heavy book on it just to make sure it's nice and flat. However, um, one, my mistake for not putting gesso or kills on them, um, it was okay for the top of the MDF, but the sides, it sucked up the paint. And now it looks dirty and where the paint had run off. So now I'll probably sand that and paint it a corresponding color and it'll be fine. But these definitely need to be prepped before you use them. Um, I put the link up um, to the Amazon uh, site, where, you know, to Amazon for this product. It comes in a set of three, Caveat M Tour. Um, besides the need for prepping, I bought a second set and the quality was crap, like literally. So the first one, hold on, let me grab. the big one came and the base was separated from the top. Like you could see the little nails. So I had to like line it up, um, hammer the nails in and I put a um, 
a whole band of wood glue to reassemble it so that I could use it. And I was all proud of myself. I'm like, oh, I did it. It worked great and it's nice and sturdy. And I didn't look at the middle one, the baby one or the middle one. And this one here, it's not lined up. You see that lip? It's this one, it has a lip on one side and not on the other, which means the round doesn't fit the base. And then the middle guy is just totally off. So I'm probably going to put a review. Like if they get their act together, it could be a nice little product for artists, um, but some shoddy workmanship, I think. So I'm going to have to send this whole set back and not use it. Okay. Anything else? I know that was a lot. Five, oh my God, six minutes and I haven't even started pouring. Fast forward if you don't want to see this stuff. Um, okay. Let me uh, get set up and get you done on my uh, turntable and talk about what we're going to do today. One sec. Hey, everybody. Okay, in full disclosure, I've done a, a couple uh, blooms without you guys. They're sitting behind me. Um, I figured I wouldn't bore you with yet another bloom. Um, what I really wanted to do was an experiment, um, you know, inspired by Shelly Carruthers from Shelly Art, is to take my plastic here, my bendy plastic, I don't even know where I got this, do a bloom or maybe a swipe or something on here, Put some white on my canvas and I want negative space and I want to just like kind of pour and just like have some cells in some negative space. I thought I thought I would do it as a bloom. I've tried it twice and have failed twice. I also tried it with the dustpan but my dustpan had a lip and um, when the paint went to skip over the lip it messed up the composition like it messed up the bloom. So. Uh, I thought I'd try this first. If it fails, yet again, um, I don't want to bore you guys with the, with the two failed attempts. Uh, so I deleted those. We'll try again. And if worse comes to worse, I will just do another bloom. So um, recipe, colors, etc. will come up on the screen. I'm just going to put a little puddle here like this. And I guess I'll try bloom style first. If that doesn't work out, I'm going to do the same thing and do a swipe and just have cells and then try to pour the cells. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I think I have just enough paint for two more tries. and, and or Two more tries this way and then enough paint just for a bloom. So let's see what happens. So there's my deep violet. I'll do some orange. This is a concoction, my own orange, that I made up using uh, Cronacridone magenta and dairy leaf yellow. And here, look at that run off already. Where are you going? How can I be? Get back there. And then I'll go with magenta. and some teal. And I think I need more white around this. Just so I have stuff to pour off onto the canvas. So my canvas is a 10 by 10. There we go. Cell Activator is Carbon Black by Golden. And let me give this a blow. A little puff with my hair dryer.
Hmm. See little, oops. Couldn't turn it off. Need a little something, something in the middle there. So let me give a puff. Ah, got, I went a little hard and got some white. That's all right. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we're just going to let that collect. And then I'm going to, here's the tricky part, is I want to put some white paint down on my canvas. Um, but this is flimsy to pick up, so I need to figure out what to do about that. So what I think I'm going to do is... Just grab something I can set it on. You know, just something that's already wrapped so that I can put this on that until I need it so I can put some white paint down on my canvas. All right, so move that off to the side. And now we can take this Put a whole bunch of paint on this. Throw on some gloves. I've been in mad scientist mode, but um, a ton of fails today. I have a couple of pretty eight by eights, so at least I have something, but uh, We'll see how this goes. And let me scooch this up just a little bit. And then fix you guys just a little bit. All right. All right, you ready? Let's go for it. So I'm just gonna like curl it in and let the paint go. See, my middle section doesn't want to go at all. And this isn't going to be what I want, I can tell already, because I want negative space. I want space, I want white in between. And this isn't going to do it. Nope. This isn't going to do it. Even if I come back and add some fun stuff in between the blooms, like some little wiggles. Give it a second to come down, get some sort of pattern. This is going to be, I think, another fail, but we'll see. Let me scrape the, pay the rest of this off. and then wipe it off with the paper towel to go again. And I think I'll try it with a swipe. Yeah, see, that's a hot mess. Well, maybe, maybe it's not. I think it is. Maybe I need to just add white in between all the squiggles. Like drizzle white, maybe. I'm just experimenting, y'all. Something like that. I think this isn't gonna work out though. I have a vision in my head, y'all. I have a vision in my head of how it's supposed to be. I'm quoting uh, Renee Zellweger from Cold Mountain, that movie. Let me give it a spin now. Give it a push. I, do I have clearance? Yeah. Oh, that's sort of kind of what I wanted. I'm getting closer. 
This one might be a keeper. See, I wanted the cells in between like the white. Maybe I'll grab, let me give this another spin to get to my corners. But it's supposed to be like psychedelic. I got my lines and I have some cells in between the white. Um, sort of kind of working out. Let me give this another little spin. Oh, that was a weak, <laughs> that was a weak spin. Oops, hold on. Let me take my dustpan out of my container. Thank goodness for my container, y'all. It just gives me peace of mind in my kitchen. Let me find a home for it. The heat can go right there. There we go, now I got some room. Just a little spin, nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> It worked, it worked, it finally worked. I don't have enough paint, I don't think, for all my sides. Like I have bare spots, but this baby was gonna go into a photo frame. I was thinking like have this vision in my head of something very similar to this and then sticking it in a black photo frame, right? Like something kind of modern and fun that I don't even know what you call this technique, but let me scrape what I can real quick. And then I will, I need to find a place to home this. And uh, we'll try again, swipe style on my um, little piece of plastic doohickey uh, and see how that works. But isn't it cool? I'll get you guys down for a close up of these in a bloom. So maybe I'll try one more time. I do want to do another bloom too, just a, a traditional bloom on a 10 by 10, like a bigger canvas. Uh, oh my gosh, I love that. This has a really, really cool, amazing focal point right here too with this stack of cells and then these lines right here. Yay! Oh my gosh, I love it. Ta-da. Dun, da 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 I hope you guys like it too. I think it's fabulous. Um, yep, okay, so I'll be right back. All right, back, cleaned up, ready to try again. This time, I'm gonna swipe on my little plastic sheet um, instead of making a bloom. And this is what the back of my canvas looks like, so it stays really nice and clean. So we'll put that there. That's another 10 by 10 gallery three level wrapped canvas. And I'm gonna use one of my, I got new business cards and they're plastic coated. So I'm like, ah, I'll use one of those. That'll make a good swiping tool. I'm in love. That first one though is so, so close to the vision in my head. It just needs a tiny bit more negative space, but maybe not, I don't, I don't know. I'm really pretty happy with it. So I guess that's all that counts. So we'll just lay some colors down. You know, nothing fancy. We'll do one there. And I don't know, one here. So there's the purple. Let's do, let's do my orange. We'll see which technique works better for my psychedelic pores. That's what I've decided they are, the psychedelic. All right, so I'll swipe these and then I'll set this aside and 
put down my puddle. I want to do it in a business card. I just showed it to you and promptly lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to use, um, you're not going to see this, but I'm just going to put a little bit of my carbon black, my golden carbon black cell activator mixed three to one with a strong flow trawl. And I'm just gonna dip my card into that black on the edge, something like this, and just give let's give some swipes till it runs out. Yeah, coated cards look work really great. Way better than cardboard. I kind of want to keep, I'm going to do one more baby one, but like these lines here, I want that in the art. Those are desirable tonight. So, and I want to keep some of the white. So just grab this purple part and just do, I don't know. That was a terrible job. <laughs> I totally butchered that one. Oh well, we'll leave it be. Now the thing is, it's kind of spread out. I'm wondering if I want to smush it back in. Like give it all a smush. Very technical words. Let's smush it. Yeah, too. We'll keep the white. We'll just smoosh you back, too. And right here. Just smoosh them all together. Kind of like that. All right, let me set this off to the side. Grab my white. If it doesn't work out, I'll try again with the, another bloom. And if that doesn't work out, then, you know... Plan B will just to do a bloom. Because it'd be nice to have a bloom on a nice 10 by 10. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. So exciting. I wonder if I want to spread this paint out a little more or add a little more. Last time, I barely had enough white. So let's not make that same mistake. There we go. Better too much than not enough. All right. So I'm gonna squish this up and let it go to the middle. Kind of like that. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Oh, there's my white. Yeah, but the rest of this isn't coming off. Hold on, let's lift up a second. Because the rest of it isn't not moving. See, it's pretty, but it's not moving. I am going to take my card, and I know I'm off camera, and smoosh those colors in. Because I want them to come off the plastic. So that's all I'm doing is pushing them all into a puddle. Just to give them a little boost. All right. Whoop. And let's see. 
Let's go a different direction, kind of. We'll come over here. Yeah, see, I don't think I'm going to get like the cells like I did with the balloon. A little crisscross action. I'm going to go real slow right here because there's some cells. Kind of like that. I wanted more of that orange, but it just didn't want to come off. I guess it was too thin, so I'm going to let that pull into my container a second. I don't know. I don't know. We'll give it a spin and see. I don't think I need to drizzle white through it. Um, but I don't think it's going to have like the cool lines that the, uh, the first guy did. But we'll see. Like I said, I'm, uh, I'm willing to uh, go again. Let me tilt, there's some cells in that one spot. So let me do this a little bit. Kind of get things where I want them to be before I tilt them off or spin them off, I mean. All right, let's see what happens. So much fun. You hear my, um. I think I have a piece of press and steel. Steel, press and steel is dragging. That's what that little beat is. <sighs> Need more of this and less of it and less of this. And it didn't give me the, um, it didn't give me the line work that the other one did for sure. I mean, it's kind of pretty in its own way, I think. I like the composition very much, for sure. And colors are great. It's just, it has the negative space I want. It just, It's just like a little bit too plain. What can I say? Now watch, you're all gonna write to me and say, we like the second one better. <laughs> Cause that's always the way. See how there's cells right in here? I'm trying to figure out a way if I can like stretch them this way. I don't know if I can, not without losing the cool orange ones. And I don't want to lose those. I don't know though, it's kind of a cool piece. It is, it's very different. This, this corner up here is just amazing. <sighs> what do you think? Do I leave it? Do I leave it be? You know, it's kind of failed. Let me stare at it a second. It is fun though. Oh my gosh. I'm keeping it. Yep. Ta-da. I'm going to go again though. <laughs> I'm, I want to do it with the bloom. So once again, I'm going to pause the camera. Um, put this to the side and um, grab another canvas. I'll be right back. Okay, back for attempt number three. My husband walked by. He saw both of those. He said, ooh, I really like the stripe one. And I gave him the stink eye because I like the other one better. What are you going to do? You guys can tell me which one you like. Maybe you won't like either. Who knows? All right. So we're gonna try this bloom one again. So let's bloom on my big sheet of plastic. Make the puddle 
the pillow nice and thick like that. And layer some colors. Let's start with the orange this time. Do orange. Magenta. And then I think I'm only have enough paint left in my little cups here um, for one more because I don't want to make mix up more pouring medium. I uh, switched to these little paper Dixie cups. They're they're not lined with wax. They're just pure paper. Thinking I'd be all you know environmentally conscious and all that, and they are so flimsy and awful. I've had to double up on them because they just disintegrate. I just realized I put a really dark color with the black, but oh well, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's slide this over a little, like that. Yep, and I only have enough cell activator, I think for one more try as well. So if this doesn't work out, we'll just do a bloom. This time I have a 10 by 10 cradled, pre-gessoed cradled hardwood. Hardwood, cannot talk all of a sudden. All right, here goes the bloom part. I love that, so I'm going to leave it. Ooh, that color combo worked out really well. All right, I'm gonna give a little puff in here and then uh, we'll get our other base down. Well, that didn't do much. Let me turn this around. Give that a second to collect. We don't really have to because I'm gonna bend it. So let's move it off for a second. Throw on some gloves again. I just got my cat in the house about a week ago. She got caught in a rainstorm and was soaking wet. And when she came in, my husband and I tried to catch her and she got really scared, like she was in trouble and, and like kind of freaked out. <laughs> and ever since then, she kind of associated coming into the house with being in trouble. So we've had a really hard time. She won't come in unless there's nobody around and it's just me and I'm super quiet. So I just got her in and closed the door. And last night, she got stuck outside during fireworks and I felt so bad because I know she was scared out of her mind and we couldn't get her in. She just would not come in um, and kept running away. And then today, so that was last night and then, because yesterday was the 4th of July. And then yesterday, I mean today, we had a big thunderstorm and she got soaked and still wouldn't come in. So I'm like, all right, cat. I don't know what to tell you, a cat. But I finally just got her in, so I'm kind of relieved. So she's in for the night. All right. There's our puddle. Help things move around. Here we go. So the idea is to have some cells 
and have some ribbons. So I am just gonna bend this for a second like this and get it to kind of puddle. And I think I'm gonna kind of go on the diagonal too. Let's go on this diagonal, it's closer to the corner. And get it to puddle and can move down. I wanna get more of the paint closer to the edge. Like, so I'm gonna bend it, like this stuff here, I think I can bend it all and just make a big puddle and the cells will remain kind of intact. That's my theory anyway. And then bend it the other way. See how I got some of those orange cells to like slide? All right, so let's try it now. This I think just takes a lot of practice to do this. Oh, slow, slow Karen. Yep, see so if you go too fast, then you don't get the cells because they all squished together. And that's what happened again. I went too fast. That's what happened. I just totally went too fast. And I'm gonna come off. I think I screwed it up. I'm just gonna come over here though and make some lines. Let's make a little pattern, something like that. Oh well, just, I think that's just, you gotta be willing to waste the paint and practice this technique, I think. Yep. Uh, let me pick it up a second. Slide the White House paint around, get some coverage. everywhere before I give it a spin. We'll see if I like it after it's spun out. If not, then I will, as I keep threatening, <laughs> make a regular bloom. All right, ready? Yeah, see, I didn't get my um, blooms. I just got a bunch of lines. Dang it. Yeah, and I don't like this hard line here. Yeah, that's a fail. That's a fail. Too bad. But, so let's just do a bloom on top of it and I'm gonna call it a night. I've been um, goofing off for several hours with this. So I am just gonna take this and push this and flip the white over and make a puddle. Try to save some paint. But we tried. I got two paintings, so I'm actually pretty happy and I'm thrilled with the first one. That one really did come pretty close to the vision in my head. I actually dreamt about it, about doing that. That's how I like, isn't that weird? Dreaming about painting. All right, that's a little dirty, but we'll add a little bit of clean paint. That'll help things fit around. Save some paint. All right, let's just do bloom. Nothing wrong with the bloom, all right? Just add a little bit of clean in the middle there. And, oh, I wish I remembered that color combo. I totally don't remember. Oh, well. Let's use a lot of color. There's a lot, a little bit of orange left. Orange. Oh, that's right. Did I want the purple on top? That had the purple on top and it looked kind of cool, right? I think that's what it was. Lots of magenta. I actually like all these lines, all these fine lines. They're pretty cool. I'm 
I'm super happy with this color combo too. I love my shade of orange. If I didn't mention it earlier, it's half Dairy Lead Yellow and half Conacridone Magenta. And that's the shade of orange you'll get. It's a little bit darker without being too pumpkin-y. All right, that killed off the teal. And then this is gonna kill off the violet. Oh, I'd like to get a little more out of there. There we go. All right. This is sliding off. Let's get this back in the center. There we go. Black cell activator. All right. Gotta do a good job this time, Karen, because you're not doing it on the plastic. and it never does anything, so I don't know why I keep doing it. I think I'm gonna puff just, I think I'm gonna leave some black in the middle and just puff like around these edges a little bit. Um, yeah. Is that pink? That's a bit blue, yep. All right, just give that a second. It seems fairly centered. Let me see if there's anything I can scoop off my sides to help things get to the ends. I'll put some of you there. I have a bunch right here. I'll stick you over there just to help you fly off. Ooh, this side's kind of far away from the edge. That right there, that's not good. I never mind if my blooms are off center though. Do I still like my black center? I think I do. All right, here goes. Mm, need a little more to get to this corner here. Let me stare at this one. It's okay. That's how I feel about it. It's just okay. The color's kind of great. Looks like some sort of starburst for sure. Do I like it though? I like parts of it. I'm probably gonna paint that purple. I'll tell you that. I love this and this. Hmm. I 
don't think that's as close to the center, um, as close to the edges as I'm going to get my cells without starting to lose them. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't. Oh no. And I'm out of teal. And I'm out of purple. I guess I leave it because I'm out of pink, pretty much. Um, just about out of cell activator. I'll let it live. Um, Ta-da! I'm done. Just, just when you see the other two blooms I did earlier, and I'm sorry I didn't fill them, um, you'll see why this is my least favorite. So uh, let me um, pop the camera down and get a close up for of everything. I'm just we'll do this one first since it's in the stand. All right. So Hold here's on. this one. It's fine. It's just fine for me. I mean, there are parts, you know, that are just stunning there and over here. But overall, I don't like the overall look of it. So I'll ponder over this one. I don't know if it'll live. Let me uh, flip the camera around and show you the other stuff. Okay, so you missed this little blue and gold guy um, I did. That was using black and gold as a cell activator and just i forgot what shade of blue a blue um and got that guy very pretty really happy with that um here's my favorite i'm in love with this and apologize for the glare this here see like this is what i was going for all of this and this but with the cells in in between like the bloom cells uh yeah i i just adore this one um, I see the, I see the orientation is the other way around, maybe. I don't know. It looks good like this. So that's this one. I mean, there's just something to look at everywhere. I'm just super, super thrilled. So there's that one. And then a bloom I did that turned out much better than the, uh, one I just showed you was this one here. Really, really pretty. Same color scheme. Oh, no, it isn't because I put orange in it. Oh no, it's missing, it's missing something. It's missing the purple, that one. And then here's the other experiment one with the stripes. It's, it has that je ne sais quoi to me. It just, it speaks to me, even though it's uh, simple in nature. Um, I think the composition makes, makes it in the colors. The colors are very, very balanced too. I think that's the other thing. Um, I really like about it. And like I said, I'm just in love with that corner. And then finally, um, another bloom I had done um, while well, you guys weren't looking is that one right there, which is super pretty. <laughs> and where am I? I look as hot and messy as I feel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the experiments. That was great, great fun. Definitely you have to give that another go at some point. And... Um, Thanks for new subscribers. I truly, truly appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. And for my long timers, you guys are the best. You know who you are. And I love you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.